Did you know that just because land is vacant does not mean it can be developed? Did you know that when you buy property that is already developed, if the prior owner did any work without permits you could still receive a citation as the new owner? Did you know that when you buy a property, future changes to the building or site are regulated by the city? This video will talk about some things to watch out for when buying developed land and when buying vacant land. As you may know, during the process of selling a house, the current owner is required to disclose any issues that could affect the value of the home. Unpermitted structures or buildings are supposed to be identified during this process. But you should still verify it yourself before purchasing. Also, there are sometimes smaller projects that may have been done without permits that a new owner could become responsible for, such as window replacements, driveway widening, or exterior changes to the building or site. Make sure to obtain and review the permit records for the property and check with the city to ensure no work was done that you could become responsible for after purchasing the house. The city provides permit records free of charge, and you can view changes to a property over time using Google Street View. Google may not have the most current image so make sure to visit the site. If you discover any changes were made without permits, call the city to find out whether or not the changes comply with code and could become legalized, and what that process would entail. Now we will briefly discuss vacant land. Just because land is vacant does not mean it can be developed. Cities may have restrictions on building in certain areas, and may have rules for when a property can or can't be developed, for example. Glendale requires public street access to the property, and some hillside properties are in protected zones that limit development. There may also be development restrictions based on protected trees and hillside slopes. The city also has minimum lot size standards for development, although recently passed state law may change that. Whatever you do, Make sure to call the city before you buy property to verify whether you will be able to build on the property. This concludes this instructional video. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment. Please share this video with anyone you think needs to see it. If you have any suggestions for other helpful video topics you would like to see on this video channel, please leave a comment.